Um, let's go ahead and see if we can kind of think of it this way when we're doing this. So we have x plus 2 plus 3. So this would be x plus 2 equals 0. So this is actually negative 2. And this tells me that I went up 3. So I'm going to go left 2 and up 3. That's actually my vertex. So I'm going to go left 2 and up 3 like this. And I'm going to put a dot there. And if we test this out, let's see, we'd have um, x and y. Um, so x is going to equal um, negative 2, like that. And we have 2 times negative 2 plus 2 plus 3. This would give us 2 times the absolute value of 0 plus 3. Well, this is 0, so it would be just 3. So there we go. We landed on 2, negative 2, and 3. That should be our vertex there. Um, and what this 2 is going to do is it's not going to be kind of uh, the, the nice wide um, or, or kind of parent function absolute value. It's going to be kind of stretched a little bit there because of the we're multiplying by 2. Um, so what we want to do is we want to kind of go on either side of this. So I'm going to go negative 1 and negative 3 because this is 1 to the right, 1 to the left. So if we go 2, negative 1 plus 2 plus 3, so we want to take the absolute value first. So we'd have 2 times the absolute value of 1. Negative 1 plus 2 is 1 plus 3. So I'd have 2, because the absolute value of 1 is 1, times 2. And that gets me 2 plus 3, so this would end up being 5. So this should also be 5. So you should there should be this mirroring happening. So 2. The absolute value of negative 3 plus 2 plus 3. So we end up with 2, and the absolute value instead of 1, it's negative 1. But that doesn't change anything. The absolute value of negative 1 is 1. 1 times 2 is 2 plus 3, and we still get 5. So perfect. That mirroring happened. That's exactly what we want to see. So if I go back to negative 1, I go up to 5, and over to 3, and I go there. So I'm going to connect these guys with the ray. And there we go. Perfect.